Hello everyone, thank you for coming up today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Please do not forget to hit on the like button. Another tragedy has happened again. Families have been put into mourning over this sad incident that happened. This is a billionaire business magnet, investor, philanthropist, and trained commercial pilot who is known as Captain Hosa Okumbo. Sad to announce that he has died. And he's a very popular businessman. And he is a billionaire. A lot of people know him. And he actually flies plane. He is a pilot at the same time. But unfortunately, the sad news has just broke today that he has passed away. Captain Hosa, who has been described as one of the wealthiest men from Edo State, died last night. That's August 7, 2021, at the hospital in London. After a year-long battle with pancreatic cancer, very painful to lose a loved one. And he was 63 years old. However, he moved to London in August 2020 to receive treatment for his ailment, where he was told he had less than nine months to live. Isn't this very sad? But at the same time, it is another time for him to spend with his loved one. All right, he was told that he had just nine months to live. Hearing the news alone would even kill his family. Just imagine that you are being told this is the number of time or period that your family member or your loved one has to spend on the surface of the earth. You will be thrown off balance. At the same time, it's still a kind of death that you would prepare yourself for. You would have an opportunity to say things to your loved one. Or you will have an opportunity to do some things with your loved one before the person would pass. Notwithstanding, just knowing that the person is going to leave you would be difficult for you to even keep living and having it at the back of your mind that very soon you may not get to see this person again. That was the news his family was giving when he went back for his treatment. But you see how it is? Man proposes and God disposes. Although he was told he was going to live for just nine months, but he lived for 12 months before he finally passed away last night. No matter how a human being dies, no matter how your loved one dies, it's still a very big hole that has been created in the heart of those connected to him or her. Even though his family were notified that their husband and father had just nine months to live, it's still going to put them in great pain. Living those nine months will not be like living the normal days you would live with the person in good health, knowing that this person is still around with you. They will be living those nine months with all caution, with all care, at the same time with pain. You would turn back and remember that this person, my father, my brother, my uncle, my husband, has just few months to live on the surface of the earth having that at the back of your mind alone is even killing you slowly gradually inside at the same time this is another kind of death that some people would say it's better they know that their loved one is going at a particular time and that would give them more opportunity to have closure with their family member before the person would leave with this kind of a death, and owing to the fact that he's even a billionaire, do you know that he would use this time to prepare everything he has for his family? 
because he's not going with anything. He will relinquish everything out and know that he is empty before he dies. This is another death that you would say, oh, the family member would have spent very quality time with him before his last breath. And all his wealth, he wouldn't hide anything or neither would he keep anything behind or neither will it be that, oh, they will say, oh, he, whether he had property here and who will know about it or whether he know he had some money in certain bank accounts, how will they trace it and all. But that would not happen in his own situation. Even though his death is a very great pain and loss to his entire family and loved ones and relatives. But then he got to relinquish everything he had to his family knowing that his hands were empty up till the time he had his last breath. Because we can't say now that him as a billionaire will just hoard anything because there is no point for it. You will find out that this man has signed every document, everything that needs to be signed, everything that needed to be handed over. He has done that because he knew ahead of time that he was not going to live anymore. His family knew ahead of time that he was not going to live anymore. Unlike in some cases of death of a wealthy person, sudden death. When in that situation, the family members will have no idea of either his investments. They may have idea of some, but not all. And at the end, those ones are just gone like a waste because nobody would even have a clue of his investment or money or houses or properties that he left behind they can't claim it because they were not informed about it and that's why situations like this it's always good to either carry your husband or your wife along in your business always carry them along and your children let them have knowledge or idea of what is happening or what you are doing in case of unforeseen circumstances, some people never had the opportunity like he had to spend those last moments, even though his death is a very painful one. At least he had the time to say those last words to his family. His wife and his kids had the time to spend those quality moments with him, even though he was dying in pain, going through cancer, those that have gone through it will tell you that it is not an easy thing. It only takes the grace of God to beat cancer. And it gets to a stage where you can't even beat it anymore. So those that have seen it all will tell you that living with cancer is not just a thing that anyone should wish for themselves or their loved ones. You go through pains, especially when you're going through that chemo. You go through pains again. Imagine that this man died in pains. Because when you're sick, you're not free of pain. You're sick, you're going through pains. And that is where another thing that your family member will be wishing they can help you through that pain. They'll watch you going through pains, but they can't do anything. So sad that... He has passed away like this. But at the same time, he had an opportunity to say those last words to people closest to him. And Captain Hosa is survived by his wife, Nosa Okumbo, and children. Really, really painful. And he's well known in Edo State. He is a popular billionaire. In However anybody dies, is still a very big pain. Because this life lost can never be regained anymore. Neither can it be replaced anymore. No matter however the person has gone, you can't see this person on the surface of the earth. Unlike in some places, they would say this, that if someone dies and a member of the family close to that person is pregnant, the person may give birth to someone who is replacing that person or who would look like that person. But if you look at it critically, a dead person can't be replaced, like saying the person has been created again 
or has resurfaced through any means. Well, I don't know how that works. It depends on people's beliefs, but the truth is anyone who is gone is gone and can never come back to the surface of the earth. It's really sad. Even though for his family members to an extent, it may be a thing that they would appreciate to an extent, not completely. Even though they know that he was ill and was going to die. But having to spend those time with him before his last breath would mean a lot to his wife and his kids. It's really, really painful anyone to lose people that are close to them. Alright, just again, same yesterday, the former general overseer of the Four Square Gospel Church has passed away. I just posted the video. You could go back and see that video, please, if you've not seen that. Losing your parents, losing your husband is one of the most painful deaths that would happen to anybody because these are people that are the closest to you. You live with them. You have spent most of your lives with these particular people. Even if you've left the home as a result of either you're back in school or you're married, but you spent most of your life with your father, mother, and your siblings. So when any one of them leaves the surface of the earth, it creates a very big hole, a very big gap that no one can fill in that particular gap because that loved one lost can never be replaced again. We would only be praying for God's counsel upon our lives when you lose any loved one. May the soul of Captain Hosar rest in peace with the Lord and may Almighty God console his wife, his kids, his entire family members, friends, well-wishers, everyone that knew him and, and mourning at this time that God should console them all. Despite the fact that he knew he was going to die, it's still very painful losing him. Friends, please, if you have anything to say, you could put that down at the comment section. Thank you for coming up today. Please don't forget to hit on the like button. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you. God bless you all.